This vid is about my favourite shellfish and seafood. And when I see food, I gotta cook it and eat it. Welcome to the Barbecue Walk of Flame. These king prawns were in the freezer, left over from my last video. So what else could I do with them? And then at my fishmongers, I spotted these king prawns. Now that's what I call king prawns. Just look at the size comparison. So I decided to make a prawn thermidor or should I say a giant king prawn thermidor. So let's get out to the barbecue. First, I'm tipping some halved, oiled and salted small potatoes to the veg basket, which has been warming on my Weber queue. And now to prep the prawns. I'm shelling and deveining them. Yes, it's a bit of a messy job. Your fishmonger may do it for you, or you could use peeled prawns. It's the turn of the three giants. I'm having to use a knife to cut the head from these whoppers. On these, the shell is quite a bit tougher. As you can see, I'm retaining the shells, which I'll be using later. To butterfly these giants, make a cut down the center of the body, and don't forget to remove this black vein. The potatoes are off the grill and in the oven to keep warm. Now to make the sauce. My cast iron pan is on the heat, and I'm adding 50 grams of butter. It's starting to sizzle. In goes one finely chopped shallot to soften. With the shallot softened, add 100 ml of white wine. 300 ml of chicken stock, plus the shells from the prawns. Close the lid and bring it back to a boil. When the liquid has reduced by about a half, strain off the shells and return the liquid to the pan. Add 100 ml of double cream and stir in. Bring back to the bubble, add the juice of half a lemon. Followed by one teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Once again, stir in. Continue to bubble until the desired consistency is achieved. Now add 20 grams of chopped parsley. This is fresh from my herb garden. And yes, give it another stir. I'm taking it off the heat, putting the lid on, and I'll be using this sauce later. The prawns are going on to a hot griddle. They cook very quickly. As soon as they turn pink and opaque, they are done. Time for a turn, and yes, they're cooking nicely. Thank you. 
Arrange the prawns in a serving dish with the large ones on top. And don't they just look good? Pour this delicious Thermidor sauce over the prawns. Sprinkle with coarsely grated Parmesan cheese. Place the heat shield and grid onto the grill for indirect cooking. And now pop it all back onto the barbecue and cook for 10 minutes. And there it is. Giant King Prawn Thermidor. Add the finishing touch with a sprinkle of parsley. If you'd like to know more about this recipe or anything about my cooking on a Weber Q, then all you have to do is click that button. Don't forget to activate and ding the bell and leave your comment in the comments box below. Now, here's the recipe recap.
That's one delicious dish that can't fail to impress. If you've enjoyed this video, then give us a thumbs up. Now, it's tasting time. Served with the potatoes I cooked earlier. I'll just dip this chip into the sauce. Mmm, well that's creamy. Now for a giant prawn. With the taste and texture very similar to lobster. Utterly, utterly delicious. There's a very different barbecue video coming up on this channel soon. Ding the bell and you will be among the first to know about it. Well that's all for this time. Join me and my guest next time on the Barbecue Walk of Flame and see what's cooking on my WebAQ. So from me, the dude with the food, the old geezer at the grill, it's goodbye and thanks for watching. <laughs>